Okay, this is a quick video showing you how to set up an FPV 3-axis gyro flight controller 3D stabiliser system for RC aeroplane from Banggood. Um, for my own reference, because there's not much information online and hopefully this will help somebody else. So I've bought this to um, using a Reptile S800 wing, which is my first wing, and wanted to install a gyro, and there seems to be a lack of instructions online. So before I put the electrics into the wing, I thought I'd test them out first. So the surveys are taped to the table. This would be the front of the wing. So in terms of how this is set up, um, here we've just got a, a small five volt power distribution board, um, ESC signal. Um, I've got a D4R2 receiver. Um, channel three is the throttle. Uh, channel one on the top is going to um, aileron, uh, sorry, ele elevator, uh, and channel two on the bottom is going to the aileron. Um, now, it does say in the instructions that you need to have three signal inputs for this to work. So, if you're using a wing, apparently you still need to find a signal input for the rudder. However, I did discover that that's not actually the case and it will work with just two signal inputs. Um, the extra cable you can see here is the auxiliary so I can turn the gyro on and off from my uh, remote. Um, you don't need that, it'll actually work just off the, the two channels as well. So I've got um, channel, let's just recap on that. Channel one is going to the aileron and channel two is going to the elevator. And then I've got channel 4 on my D42R is auxiliary um, going in here. And then out I've got the aileron is the, if this is the front, that's the right hand servo. And the um, elevator going to the left hand servo. Now in terms of the switches, which took a bit of working out. <coughs> so you need the delta switch turned up. So it's a delta plane and then it, it works. It actually does all the mixing for you, so you don't need any mixing on your um, control. You can see that, that that works without any mixing. It does the mixing for you with that switched up. And in terms of the way I'd wired this up, I found that I needed the um, uh, elevator switch reversed. And then on my Tyrannus, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Um, if I go through to the mixes... Mixers, you can see um, I had to change the uh, weight to minus 100 um, for both channel 1 and channel 2. Um, and then also you'll see here, for the inputs, um, I deleted the rudder. If you hold down and click, you can delete and set up, a, set up a new one. So I entered one for the gyro, which I've just put onto this switch here. And you can see on the um, gyro, it's green flashing, which says the gyro is not working. The servos aren't, aren't doing anything. If I flick the switch on, you'll see the gyro is now flashing. It's red with a flashing green light. And when I move, the gyros, gyros move. The other important thing to know is with it's set up like this, this end of the wires is actually the front of the wing. So you can see if I tilt this up, they move in the right way. Um, now, I had read a comment online of somebody saying, well, when they move it, the servos move and then move back. Well, that is correct because it would move and that movement corrects it. So the more it moves, the more the, the movement cracks. Um, hopefully that's helpful to somebody. So we'll just zoom in on the settings on that again so you can see how those switches are set. Now, I guess once I start to fly, I'm going to have to adjust the sensitivity of these depending on how it reacts. Um, but that, that's a fairly good start and actually doing the mixing for you on here saves, saves having to do it on your remote. If you set up the channel mixing on your remote, um, it doesn't work with the gyro because that was what I did originally. So um, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll do, do my best to help. Thanks. Bye.